YouTube, this is Felicia with Bible Scraps, and I have two cool ways of creating do-it-yourself sequin paper so you can make a customized sequins, confetti, or what I call shake shake. <laughs> okay, you guys, take a look at what you can make. Super easy. These are hollies, and there's beauty on both sides. So I have hollies in different shapes. In this video, we will make these gorgeous bronze snowflakes in different sizes. You can see it down here. <laughs> I love it. In this video, we will also make these snowflakes. Look at that, you guys. Now you could use these outside of Shake Shake. These can be little die cuts for your cards and for your embellishments and then take a look at the Christmas trees <laughs> you gotta love Shake Shake okay you guys within this week I will be sharing a cool way of making your shaker pouches or what I call flippy pouches yes I need to bring back flip back art now if you have not subscribed you would want to subscribe so you don't miss that video I drew my inspiration for my do-it-yourself confetti from using the Doris sequin sheets now I'm not sure if these are still available they might be available online I picked up mine several years ago. What sets these sheets apart from regular cardstock is that you have the finish on both sides. But to truly make it sequin, it should have a pretty finish on both sides. In this video, I will share how you can create your own do-it-yourself sequin sheet. Alrighty, let's get started and I'm going to start with my paper. You need, if you want that sequin look, then you need to start off with the right type of paper. This is a satin matte type cardstock. I have been using this paper for the last several years and many of you have asked where I get this paper from. Well, a lot of companies I think carry it now. But I picked up this particular paper and you know if I remember I'll show you the box because I got an array of different colors. I picked up mine from Create and Craft USA. Um, I'll link this below if it's still available. If it's not available they will get it back in stock. Also absolutely love Mira cardstock. This cardstock is reflective. I also use this. It's available in a plethora of different colors. If this is still available, I will have this linked below. This paper is UK based, but I think American companies are starting to carry it. As a matter of fact, Anna Griffin has several colors available on HSN, of which I have two of those colors, and they're beautiful so these I'm not sure how well they will convey via screen but they're mirror reflective I can look at this paper and see my reflection and some colors reflect better than others this particular paper has more of a satin finish it's not it's not reflective Though you can see through it, it's more like a shadow. So there's options, but either one of these papers will work. Okay, the next thing you want to do is choose your washi tape. I know we all have a lot of washi, and this is some of my washi. I actually purchased these tubes from Tuesday morning. I did demo them and I created a couple of projects using this washi. For today's video, this is one of the tubes I will be using. These are no longer available at Tuesday morning, but you can pick up this particular set and in I think three different color combos. I'm going to get started using confetti dies. These are by Anna Griffin. They are available on HSN 
and in different varieties. This is the Christmas set here. You can use punches if you have punches and using your punches will be dependent upon how thick your sequin sheets are. You are looking at beautiful rose gold mirror cardstock. That is by Anna Griffin. It's on HSN. The color is actually a champagne color and I love it. And I am using the tree confetti die you see here. Now, bring out that washi tape, you guys. We hoard it. We have a lot of it. We'll never use it all up. But using the washi tape is a great way to create your custom sequin sheets. You don't have to pay a lot of attention to how you layer your washi tape down. You see mine's is not straight. It's A-OK -okay because when you die cut it out, no one will see your mistakes. So layer it down and I've added some black washi tape there because I don't want to use my washi tape with the words on it. I'm going to preserve those rolls for projects where I want to show the words on the tape. Now some of you have mentioned and I have also experienced washi tape not sticking and the need to apply adhesive before you apply your washi tape, well, it's not needed here. Though some of the tape may come up, when you actually die cut it out, the pressure from the die cutting machine will cause the washi tape to bind really nice to your paper. Using scissors to trim off the excess, and I'm using my Gemini Junior to die cut out my confetti. I am using the sandwich four intricate dies. I've only sent mine through once, but you can send it through twice if you want the, the die cuts to basically drop out of the die. I will use my little tool here to help some of the pieces come out. But once again, you can also die cut it out twice and it comes out even easier. And you can see some, they're not stuck in there. They just need a little help coming out. But they're so pretty. Love those colors. And you see here, my do-it-yourself shake shake from my do-it-yourself sequin sheet. Okay, this is the second way you can create do-it-yourself sequin paper by using your foils. I love working with foils. I am applying a two inch width tape to the back of my mirror cardstock and then I'm going to use a different size roll. You want to make sure you have enough adhesive. Well you want full coverage on the back side of your cardstock and then cut the excess off and do the same thing. Remove the liners and then now those scissors cut. I'm using they're actually for cutting out tape. But any type of scissors may work because you're not cutting off a lot of tape. And I'm sorry for that shake shake. There was an area that I missed. So I'll apply more adhesive down. And then you want to apply your foil with the silver side facing the adhesive. That is how you transfer the foil to your cardstock. Cut off the excess and then use this tool. I reviewed this tool several weeks ago from Tuesday morning. It's a oversized um, bone folder. Great for this purpose and take a look at that beautiful foil that's been transferred to the adhesive. Now there is an area in the middle where I did not have adhesive. What I'm going to do is take a adhesive strip, apply it over that area I missed, and then reapply the foil. And I'll use the scrap foil to apply it over just like that. You can use every square inch of your scrap foil. So after I have die cut it out, you see those negative sheets, which you can use in your projects, and you see that beautiful snowflake confetti or shake shake. And just a note, when you are working with 
foil. This is one thing I forgot to do. Before you die cut out your Shake Shake, take some powder or cornstarch and rub it on the side of the sequin paper with the foil on it just to deactivate any adhesive that still might be there. You see these seem kind of stiff when they should be fluid like these to prevent this stiffness because it's all about shake shake. You want it to shake. Go ahead and add that powder first. And don't limit yourself to the products I have used in this video. Think outside the craft. You may only have washi tape. Make washi tape double-sided paper and die cut that out. You might only have foil. Well, you can make double-sided foil paper and die cut that out. You might have pretty cardstock that serves the same purpose. We'll use it and die cut shake shake. Well, if you have been inspired to make your own do-it-yourself sequin paper and shake shake, why not support this video and give me a big like. Also subscribe because I got a lot more videos coming your way. Feel free to adopt my idea. I only ask for proper credits. Do give shout outs and do link back to this video. Happy Shake Shake, you guys. And as always, blessings.